Uh, welcome back, everybody. And on the on the line, we have Eton uh, Mayer from uh, RSA's Head of Knowledge Delivery, uh, the Fraud Action Research Lab over in Israel. And Eton, you were getting into uh, some of the impact of ICE-9 on uh, the Zeus black market sales. Could you get into that a little bit deeper? Sure. So one of the things that we anticipated when we saw the first uh, string of ICE-9 uh, being published is, well, one of the advantages that was posted was the fact that the person who wrote the new Trojan claimed that it can protect, uh, it is protected from what we call trackers, from various uh, sites out there, like uh, Zeus Tracker, uh, that can actually identify these Trojans. He claimed uh, that they can, uh, this Trojan is unidentifiable by, uh, by these websites. So we said, hey, you know, if, if this is something that they offer, uh, most likely people will jump on it uh, and start buying this Trojan. Again, as I mentioned before, the, uh, the price of, uh, of the Trojan itself is only $1,800. You get the full package. So it's not such a bad price. But we're now seeing that uh, this person is failing to deliver uh, the promises that he made. I'm not saying uh, that he will not deliver, but all the strings that we have analyzed so far, we've actually seen several, uh, t several attacks using this uh, Trojan, several infections. All of them uh, did not deliver on what, the, what was promised. So it could still be that this uh, uh, Trojan is in development, and these were the, only the first few strings, and maybe they didn't go through the proper QA uh, that they were supposed to go through on the fraudster's end. Uh, but we do not see an immediate impact right now uh, on the uh, Zeus market. You have to keep in mind that the Zeus source code, since it's out there uh, for free, uh, you really have to give to give something special in order to get people now to pay large amounts of money uh, for a complete package, meaning a builder um, and server side code of your Trojan. It does not look like this one will be it. We're also still waiting to see uh, what the original uh, coder of SpyEye is going to release with the SpyEye and Zeus merger. I do want to give a heads up. Uh, you can follow uh, our blogs on the RSA site that we will be publishing very soon a different Zeus string, not the ICE-9, a different version, which is privately owned and operated, and this gang running out of uh, Russia actually has an amazing operation. Uh, they did do some significant changes, uh, put significant changes into their code, were able to infect a lot of people, and they have a very interesting uh, infrastructure uh, that helps them disguise their operations. So I hope we will be releasing this report in the coming week. Uh, so keep a close eye on that. I think that will uh, give a different perspective on what can be done when, when you know what to do with a leaked source code. Yeah. All right. Um, and we also know uh, I'll be putting up on the live chat in a few minutes here uh, the two links um, to your blog and then over to uh, the new ice, uh, new Trojan Ice-9 written over Zeus runes, uh, that particular entry. We'll put that up there for everybody as well. Hey, you know, we've got about a minute and a half left. Um, you know, when we talk about viruses, I don't, I don't think a lot of people out there understand just how competitive a sales market feel there is. Can you give us a feel on, on that? You guys are looking at, at all this stuff, you know, constantly. What, what, how broad is the field? How competitive is it? It's super competitive. Uh, if you go into the forums, it might look uh, quieter, so to say, because uh, it's, all mo it's all modernized. If you go into the IRC channels of these underground forums, everybody's shouting, you know, I can offer this, I can offer that, don't buy from that guy, I can offer it for a lower price. Uh, people are buying and people are selling all the time. Now, uh, um, the English-speaking forums, um, people tend to buy and sell there, but they uh, uh, don't do the real interesting things because these are highly moderated. Uh, but if you take a look into some of the Russian forums, which is one of the things that we do, well, things there, things there are amazing. Um, you actually get people... Well, first of all, you can't really uh, sell or buy if you're not verified by other people. You have to be a verified vendor to sell, um, and then you probably you need to, to, to know somebody to get into these forums. And people offer just everything and anything. It's, they have seller uh, forums. They have people who demand things, so people who need specific modules, other people will design it to them. Uh, it's, it's, it's downright amazing. There are different groups. You have people who do the... 
who give you the infrastructure to deploy your servers, other uh, hosting facilities, uh, other people uh, just sell credentials. So you really have different niches and each and every one of them is, is, is an expert and in the, it's, it's really amazing to see it happening. Well, we're, uh, we're up and over our time, Ethan. Thank you for being with us today.